Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I would like to begin by first stating that I'm very delighted to hear from the President talking about issues of food security, talking about issues of drought, and talking about issues of climate change. I commend him for that. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is unfortunate that countries that contribute the most to climate change suffer the, less, the least. Countries like Kenya, which contributes very little in, uh, to, uh, to the causes of climate change, suffers the most. Yet, the countries that contribute the most are taking their time to act on climate change or to help countries like Kenya. I think it is about time that we stop waiting for help from the outside and work together to help ourselves. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Asal regions of Kenya has endured three executive, uh, three severe droughts in the last decade. The current drought that we are facing is the most severe and the longest that we have faced. With widespread losses in livelihood and massive dis displacement of our people. I was reading somewhere, Mr. Speaker, sir, they were saying that currently 4.2 million people representing 24% of the ASAL regions in Kenya are facing high level of acute food shortage and water scarcity. Mr. Speaker, sir, I met a gentleman from my county and he told me that they've given up on looking for water for their livestock. They are now struggling to look for water for their, for their own use. Mr. Speaker, sir, more than 2.5 million livestock which pastoralist families rely on have died. Mr. Speaker, sir, climate change, economic instability, the effects of COVID-19 pandemic, plus the damage caused by the locust has exposed the communities in the ASAL areas even further. We therefore ask that we get from the government and the county government sustainable support going beyond December 2022. Mr. Speaker, sir, we are also requesting that the national government and the county government to release available funds to scale up on their responses. Mr. Speaker, sir, we are also appealing for special focus on women and young girls. Another request that, Mr. Speaker, sir, we have is that NGOs have stepped up in their efforts to offer assistance through cash transfer to thousands of beneficiaries in the ASAL regions. The cash transfers run into millions. We urge government to intervene to stop mobile communication companies from disconnecting people due to non-compliance with registration requirements according to the Kenya Information Communications Act of the 15th of October 2022. Mr. Speaker, sir, the cash transfer is through mobile money, such as M-Pesa. The people that are affected with the drought live in far villages and centers, far from any um, custom, customer service centers where they'll be able to update their registration. I know that it is possible to also update your registration through the, uh, uh, through the internet. But most of the people affected do not have, um, what will you call it, um, um, special, um, mobile phones that can access the internet. We therefore urge Communications Authority and Safaricom to consider 
not to disconnect these beneficiaries. And another request, Mr. Speaker, sir, is that we've seen that the national government is working closely with the county government and the governors. I would also urge the national government to work closely with the senators when it comes to issues of drought in the Asal regions. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Senator Abdi. Uh, the Honorable Senator Mandago Jackson Kiplangat was in Gishu.